How are you doing? It's me. It's almost 10 a.m. on January 24th. As you can tell by the background, I'm at Angel Heart. So um, I won't be able to watch the festivities going on in Washington right now, but I am taping it so I can watch it later. So what do you guys think? Of course, you know the Republicans are saying boring, boring, boring. Let me do a little housekeeping real quick. Um, uh, a couple of things. First of all, the Benicia uh, gig still has tickets. I will we'll post it in the box below. Um, this one, this particular uh, thing at the Portuguese Hall is going to be a little bit more intimate, energetically. So it should be fun. I'm looking forward to it, actually. Um, it features Kirsten Langston and Tana, and I'll be doing mediumships with everybody. So... Um, and then um, the Sedona event, um, as you know, sold out like within 24 hours. And now we're slowly but surely, which usually happens, you get people that say, I realized I can't make it, etc. So we do have some tickets available, I think four total. I'm going to give you the link to Tana and you just tell her, you know, hey, I'm, I'd like a ticket either for a single room or for a private room. Okay. So we got that going, and um, uh, the problem is when people cancel, and I will tell you this before you book something, um, what I did was I paid Mago, the Mago Resort pretty much everything, and then paid the teachers and stuff so we could confirm and the travel, etc. cetera. So uh, you basically, if you're gonna cancel, have to have somebody else you know, purchase, purchase the ticket for you so we can give them their money back. Okay. All right. So that's what's going on. I hope you guys enjoyed Lena and I hope you enjoyed, uh, David. He's really a nice guy. You guys, um, he, um, used to serve in the Peace Corps. So he had some interesting stories to tell. So that was fun. And then, um, I know I was going to tell you guys something else, okay? Oh, I'm going to be with uh, Violetta again a uh, week from this Sunday. I guess it'll be Super Bowl Sunday in the morning. And then I'm also supposed to uh, read with Milo. He was trying to fix up so we we didn't have a bad feed. And I guess he fixed it. And I just got to let him know, you know, what day I'm available. Okay? Girl is booked. You know what I'm saying? Oh, by the way. So I do have some openings in May, if you go on, and I'm gonna put that feed in the bottom of the box. But Angel Heart for You, and I'll give you their phone number, has some March openings towards the end of March. So for phone or personal. Now, if you've already booked with me on Wix, I can't, you can't just call them and say, oh, it's already paid for. It's a whole big deal. It has to be canceled. You have to be refunded and blah, blah, blah. So. It's so they they work different from me. So when you book with them, it's different than when you book with me. Okay, so don't think, oh well, you know we book. She takes a percentage um, of the uh, monies coming in, and then the other one, and then I also pay taxes on the on the one with Wix. So it's a long story. Anyway, okay. So I've got a couple of things to tell you. Now, I don't know if you heard on Lena or David, but I had a dream and I dreamt that I was having dinner with, uh, what's his face? Orange Crush face. And M Melania was there and Baron was there. And he was at the end of the table. It was actually in my parents' house, which is weird. Cause it's kind of, you know, middle class, nothing fancy. So he gets up from the chair and uh, to, to exit because he had eaten fast and eaten before everybody else. 
And I yelled at him and I said, Donald, if you do not have witnesses or documentation, this will ruin you, okay? So I said that. Then the next thing I know, I'm at my old hospital and I'm wearing pajama bottoms and a scrub top. I remember thinking, why am I wearing this? And I opened the door because it was the eighth floor, but the room number was like 8302 or something. I opened the door and then there is um, Rachel Maddow and Nicole Wallace. And um, I said, Rachel, I have something to tell you. Like I got hot stuff. And so Nicole says, well, I gotta go anyway. So she got up and walked out and then Rachel told me to close the door. So what do you have to say? And she had that pin in her hand like she always does. I said, I just want you to know that I told Donald, if you do not allow witnesses or stop any documentations, this will ruin you. And basically she's like, so what was his response? So his response was like the damn constitution or F the constitution, something very negative towards the constitution. That's what I remember. Then the next thing I do is wake up. So check out last night. I had such a, a dream. It was kind of sad. I dreamt that Rachel Meadow was assassinated. Now don't worry because dreams aren't, you know what I'm saying? I dreamt that Trump was in a glass coffin in a shopping center when he first got elected. And in that dream, I knew he wasn't gonna be assassinated. What it was, was the dream was that we will all witness since it was glass, the fall of Donald J. Trump. So, um, so I dreamt she was assassinated and everybody's like, you know, like killed by somebody who loved Trump. And everybody was upset, the news media, it was like, and I remember being so sad, feeling like we had lost a link to justice, so to speak, because she's so smart in the way she puts things together. So, and nobody deserves that. So I remember feeling so sad in the dream. And then I woke up and then I, I asked my guys, so what the hell was that about? And I think what the, the dream meant, and we can decipher later, I think it means that the Republicans, as I told you before, no matter what we bring forward, won't impeach him or won't get rid of him, won't ask him to leave. He's already impeached, but won't ask him to leave. And that this, just like the dream with him at the dinner table, I said, if you don't do this, you're going to be ruined. I think it's the process of him being ruined has already started. So... No matter what these little clowns do, these people do. Because apparently he's already, they've already put the word out. I don't know if Donald did it, but one of his cohorts said, if you guys vote for him to be removed, your head will be on a pike or something. My friend sent it to me. It's like, for real? I mean, it's, it's illegal to challenge or threaten a juror, okay? But he's going to get away with it. It's like those people reading books leaving. Uh, I'm, sh I'm surprised Justice Roberts doesn't speak up. But um, I know Justice Roberts doesn't want to give his two bits. The only reason he even gave a reprimand that one time because Susan Collins did. <laughs> so, um, but I still feel Justice Roberts, I'm feeling him doing something that really is like for our benefit. And he has done. He, he voted yes on Obamacare, blah, blah, blah. Something else, Justice Roberts, and listen, him going through this trial really has opened his eyes. So when they start going, you know what, you can't have the presidents because he's the, he's got this trial in his head. And energetically, it, he'll go by the law and he'll say, F you, you have to give it. That's what I'm getting, okay? So let's just look at the status right now. God, those dreams were weird. Let me just ask real quick about... Um, Rachel Maddow dream. Rachel Maddow dream. What did that Rachel Maddow dream mean? I we It wasn't like we saw it, we hear about it. It's all over the news. Rachel Maddow is dead, so to speak. Assassinated is what I got. And everybody is upset. Of course, Republicans won't care, but... No, there'll be some Republicans that care. You don't want... You don't want that, but it's like her, 
it's like after she was being talking about this energetically, she's cut off, okay? And you know Russia's behind closed doors, hoping they could assassinate and get rid of a lot of us. Probably even me, who knows? Don't worry, Russia's gonna make a turnaround. That I see. Okay, so tell me why Rachel Maddow dream. Spirit, tell me what the Rachel Maddow dream meant. So I'm having these dreams and visions like the one I told you guys about St. Michael. Ten of Swords. Starts off with bad news. With struggle. Trying to place all our energies. Look at this. Nine of Wands. Page of Wands. Information coming in. It's the world. Okay. Five of Cups. The sun is in the environment. And arrows. Arrows of information. So, this is an actual dream about death. This is a dream about disappointment. I think what's going to happen is even with all this evidence, they're going to boohoo or they may even throw a fast one and say, let's vote now. Do we get rid of them? Do you see what I'm saying? Something's going to happen. People are all upset. But check this out. Even though this happens, more information's coming out. Could be Maddo that brings it. Scoops. Scoops are coming out. And it's just not going to be good for Donald Trump. Now let's check that out. So now that this is going on, what happens with Donald Trump? How does this, all this hearings and whether he is removed or sanctioned or whatever, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Oh, by the way, Ivanka told the European press, by the way, we're paying millions and millions of dollars for rentals for them, for Ivanka. And a lot of the rentals they didn't even use. So, you know, they can just piss all over us. They don't care. I mean, I'm sure people have overspent, but it's out of control with him. Okay, so tell me. And so Ivanka said she gave up her life to help. <laughs> she gave up her beautiful life to help Americans. Really? She, made, she gave up her beautiful life to help herself. Okay, so what can you tell me? What can you tell me about how Donald Trump is doing in with these particular events taking place? And they're going to just bring bullshit up. That's what I see. The Republicans are just going to be talking out their rear and it's not going to make any sense. There's some Republicans that are going to work against them. So he's got judgment with the, the night of justice, with He's got reason to fear, you guys. Um, the demon is on him. He just gets more crazy, if you know what I mean. Pelosi is on him. Nine of coins reverse. So the bird of paradise is no longer sitting on his shoulder. This is going to affect him. Just like I said, told him in the dream. This is going to ruin you. This man is looking at ruin, you guys. It's like, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. And the prophecy comes true. He will be stuck with the swords around him blindfolded. It's just one thing after the other. And those that stood by him, or it's just like I saw in that vision, you guys, with the, uh, uh, the sword and the Republicans holding that gold shilling and falling into the pit with the black rain, they will all suffer. Sorry, I don't mean, I don't want every, anybody to suffer. But they will be, I think a lot of people are going to lose in the elections. I see the end of Donald Trump. It's not very good. Okay? So, how will Donald Trump fare? Now, I want to ask real quick. Um, I want to ask about that Susan Collins, you know. Will Susan Collins actually vote against Donald Trump? 
Will Susan Collins do the right thing? Will Susan Collins do the right thing? Yes or no? Just give give it to me. We don't need no. We just want to know, is she just going to be... Because remember I told you guys, I felt like there would be some relief in this trial based like the Kavanaugh. Oh, we'll let the FBI check it out. And in the meantime, they told the FBI, you ain't doing shit. Just sit there and wait. Then they came back and said, yeah, there was a nothing burger. He can get in. Don't worry, he's going. <laughs> we'll discuss later. Susan Collins, will she stand up to the plate? Is she going to be a heathen? She's hit by truth. She's hit by truth. And they are on her. The evil is on her. There's Pelosi. Um, Jesus. I would say, she's barking at the moon. I would say Susan Collins will disappoint us. Either this or... She's so disappointed. There's no happy cards here. Like she stands up for justice, you guys. She may give us a tidbit of something, but there's no happy card here. Let's just ask this, okay? I'm not feeling good about Susan Collins. And Susan Collins isn't going to be around. But let me just ask real quick. Just be patient, you guys. It's only 10 months till we have the, uh, the voting. But more is coming out on Trump. I'll, I'll show you guys in a minute. I can feel it. Okay, so real quick. I want to know, will the Republicans, some of the Republicans, will we get enough Republicans to ask for witnesses? Because apparently McConnell and Trump have a date they need this to end. He doesn't want to go for his speech that, that, that presidents do. He doesn't want to go there with this hanging. He wants it done, I think, by Super Bowl, uh, by February 2nd. Will the Republicans, any of the Republicans, vote to say yes to, will we get, let me just not say it that way, because you know Republicans had to do it in order for us to get to a yes. Will we get documentation and or witnesses, or yeah, and or witnesses? Will we get documentations and or witnesses? Will we get documentations? and or witnesses. Well, we get documentations and or witnesses. Okay? All right, let's check it out. So we're sitting at the table. People don't know. It's like fudge. Feels like a man goes in our favor that we didn't expect. Here's the struggle. Here's I mean, it's struggle after struggle. It's not absolutely saying no, but it's not saying yes. So check this out, you guys. I've got, those of you who are card readers, I've got the Eight of Swords, which means the blind leading the blind. The Knight of Swords, which is the battle for truth. The Six of Swords, them trying to walk away from it. Them not knowing, not knowing. they're trying to like, Oh, let's just keep on with business as usual. Screw you guys. And the Hierophant. And the Death Card. We're going to have to be strong. I'm, I'm almost wondering if we're not going to get it based on this. Isn't that freaking weird that nobody, maybe we get a couple. I think word is from Trump and they're following their master. And that's all we can that's why I saw those Republicans falling off a cliff one by one. Like, the, remember I used to tell you rats leaving the ship. So the master and the people are, he's just, McConnell feels like, I'll tell you, this Hierophant feels like McConnell. Like, you know, man, this is what you're going to do and this is how we're going to do it. So, I'm not feeling good about it, you guys. Witnesses. Um... I don't feel good about uh, Collins. Or even if they get the witnesses. You know what? Maybe even uh, McConnell pulls a fast one because it ends. It ends. So it might be he says, okay, let's just do a vote right now. Do we drop this or do we move on? Okay. All right, you guys. So 
Um, be sure to send me whatever questions you have. I'm just doing a little bit here to kind of get us on board. I won't be able to post this till tonight because I can't post it from my iPhone with YouTube. All right, so now, real quick, before we end this, what do you want me to tell everybody? What kind of information I, I give everybody What's with what's coming up? Trump is going down, I can tell you that. It might not be when we want it to be because we have to be patient, but he is definitely not going to keep going. What do you want me to tell everybody? So that dream was that that dream could be what I what I just now saw on the cards. Like they're gonna pull a fast one, they end it before we begin, that kind of energy. I'm so sorry, you guys, but it's not going to happen now, okay? He may leave even before the the, the, the voting because some scandal's going to come up. It's even worse. We may hit him again, but, but trust me, it's going to happen. Now, what can you tell me? What do you want everyone to know? Dear guides. What do you want the people to know? What do you want me to tell them? Now that China thing, the Chinese flu feels like it's gonna be pretty fast and furious. But what's interesting, I felt like they come up with something fast and furious for it. But it, 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 it will be a bit devastating. That's what I'm getting. But it doesn't feel like the US, although we just got another person that got sick with it in the US. So, what can you tell me? What can you tell me about what's going to happen? What do you want everybody to know? Okay, let's check it out, you guys. Let's see what they say. So, the Ten of Coins is like, everybody's happy. Everybody's believing in the coins also for me, which is also the pentacle, Pentacles. Sometimes I do this as a, with the Ten of Cups, it's a marriage of love and happiness. With the Ten of Pentacles, it's a, even a little deeper. It's a marriage of spirit. So we're going to get news of something fabulous, okay? Because justice will be served, okay? Justice is coming, you guys. So there's a lot of stuff coming forward. A lot of, like, information, okay? People are sitting around. Oh my God, oh my goodness. Jesus, look at the judgment card, the world. So leaving, this is like going over troubled waters. Remember how I saw the Republicans acting like this is a nothing burger, now let's move on. The world will move on. The world will say, whatever, dude. Um, April's strong. So I think some stuff's coming out by April. That's pretty significant. So even if Trump goes and he runs for office, it's, you know, in a way, wouldn't that be nice? It's like he talks such trash about everybody. He'll continue to do it. But he looks so bad. It's like nobody can stand the smell. And the Republicans know they're screwed because they can't throw somebody else in there because of him, just in case he wins. But even with Russia, he, he wouldn't win again. But the thing is, if he lost by a landslide, the humi humiliation, and then as soon as he's out the door, boom, people are on him. People are subpoenaing it. He's not, this is not going to end from when he it stops being president. And he knows it. He knows it. Okay, you guys? I love y'all. You take care. I don't know if I'll be back tomorrow, but I'll be here Sunday for sure. Okay, ciao.